Welcome back to Reptiles and Research. So how much do you need to be feeding your ball python? Generally, you want the prey item to be the same size as the widest part of your ball python's body. If you're feeding one singular big item. 10 to 15% of your ball python's body weight in total weight of the prey item is a good rule to achieve this. Now you can actually feed multiple prey items in one sitting. That's really good for getting variety to the diet as well. So let's say you're going to feed 100 grams worth of food to your ball python, where you can feed one 100 gram item, or you can feed two 50 gram items. It doesn't have to be so regimented, and doing that split sometimes, in every other feeding, can also be really good for getting variety into the diet with different items that have different macro and micronutrient profiles, to give your ball python the best chance of having a really healthy, balanced diet. Now, I really just like having to say this is exactly how you do it and you never deviate from this. Because in truth, this like regiment for beginners is good for finding your feet. And some people will stick to this sort of style for the rest of their keeping career, if you will. But a lot of us are a bit more fluid. So once you find your feet with this regiment, then you can start experimenting and finding your own way. But not everything is black and white, so you don't have to be so militant about everything. Now, let's talk about how often. So our baby and juvenile ball pythons, at around less than 200 grams, I would recommend feeding it every sort of five to seven days. From this stage up until sub-adult, I would recommend feeding every two to three weeks. Moving closer to three weeks progressively with the animal size as it grows. For adult ball pythons, what I actually recommend as a baseline is one feeding once a month. And that's typically an amount of food that's 10 to 15% of the ball python's body weight. Then on certain months during these times of year where the, the outside's really hot and the metabolism's really fired up, you can shift it to like twice a month. But as the baseline throughout the year, once a month is just fine. You may find that during your winter months that your bull python goes off feeding and doesn't feed for multiple consecutive months. That's absolutely fine. It's particularly normal for the species. In fact, if you're weighing your bull python weekly, and you're noticing that your ball python is not losing weight at more than 10% of their total body weight, you're absolutely fine. You'll find that really, if they're healthy, they don't lose much weight at all. And you want to make sure that as long as your ball python isn't sick, and that's the reason they're not eating, if they're healthy and just decided to go on a bit of a, a starve, that's absolutely fine. That's natural, it's part of their behaviour, they will do that. Now you may think that on my recommendations in this video, I'm feeding them very infrequently. And you might think, well that's not enough. But truly, part of the problem with bull pythons in captivity is we're feeding them too much. Everyone is super over conditioned to feed bull pythons way too much. So when they see something actually really measured and and healthy for them, they see a schedule like this and they're like, oh my god, but actually this is normal. The other stuff is abnormal. These bull pythons are built to last long periods of time in between meals. They have such slow metabolisms. They're not like mammals like us. It's really, really slow. When a python swallows a meal, all energy diverts into this like digestion mode. The digestive activity like skyrockets. The liver grows massively beyond its normal size. And even their very hearts grow beyond normal size. All for the sole reason to accommodate the task of literally digesting a whole other animal inside themselves. So it's such a massive job and digestion for these animals is a big ordeal. And because it's such a big ordeal, they take a long time to digest. My particular bull python will routinely go retreat to a hide that's nice and warm and digest and not be active for around six to five days. Basically, like that sort of period of time, she'll sit nice and comfy, digest, and then go back to her climbing and activity after that. Obviously, because all the different organs are growing and they're different, they're different to normal to actively focus on digestion, the snake has to sit and focus on digestion. So when people feed adult bull pythons a massive meal weekly and it takes them a week to digest and they have to sit there, mostly sit there to digest and then they act like, oh, why doesn't my bull python move much? 
you're you're never letting it get out of this state with like enlo- engorged, enlarged organs, and it never retreats back to normal because they're not getting this gap in between. Once a week for an adult bull python is absolutely ridiculous, and then that's how you get into this story of like bull pythons don't move much. They do. You just imagine like everyone giving you a Christmas dinner every sort of like four hours and you're sat there absolutely stuffed and you can't move of course you don't move much because you're not going to are you and for that reason that's why i say to feed them far less in this guide because you need the bull python to get a chance to be a bull python in between now bull pythons have a particular reputation for not eating for long periods of time there's many causes why this might be this might be parasites this could be incorrect parameters in temperature and humidity this could be that it's breeding season and their minds are on other things if you catch my drift something in the environment might be stressing them there might be a dog walking past they see all the time that's stressing them they may have came from a rack and now they've gone to a vivarium and their entire world has changed from nothing but sensory deprivation and darkness to a world beyond what they know. And it's going to take them a little bit of time to actually, for their brains to catch up. Or simply, they know they don't need any more food and they can self-regulate. Bull pythons are really good at going, I'm, I'm done, give me a break, I don't need this right now. Especially when you've got these like four kilogram massive females that are literally fat slugs. And you hold the snake and it's literally a pudgy, squidgy mess. And you compare that to an animal that has a good feeding schedule, climbing and exercise in space. And it's pure muscle compared to this fat slug. They're so, so good at self-regulating when they know that they need a break. So feeding less frequently, it's better for your wallet and it's better for your snake. We have a multitude of different care guides for bull pythons on this channel. And there is a lot more coming. So if you're into that, go check them out and subscribe to this channel for the ones that are coming in the future. Other than that, and I'll see you in the next video.